Today I am going to show you Claris Connect. Claris Connect is an integration platform as a service. It lets you easily connect many different apps and make the data smoothly flow between them. In this demo, I will show you how easily you can integrate MailChimp, a cloud-based app for email marketing, with a custom CRM made in Claris FileMaker. People typically subscribe to newsletters on the web, but what if a lead you have in your CRM simply asks you over phone to subscribe them? To make this task easy, I will edit the CRM contact detail layout and add a button just for this purpose. I don't want to have to log into MailChimp each time I need to manually add a subscriber. Instead, I want to just click a nice MailChimp button in the CRM and have the software do the work for me, saving me at least a few minutes of my time. So I will add a button with a nice MailChimp icon and adjust it to match my CRM's color theme. I also want to see some kind of indication that I have already subscribed that contact, so I will add a field to hold that information and apply a condition formatting to the button. I will simply make the button icon yellow when the MailChimp subscription field is not empty. Normally the next step now would be to start learning and setting up the MailChimp API for a lot of people that can be an experience taking several days. To make my life easier, I will use Claris Connect. I log in at connect.claris.com, which brings me to my Claris Connect dashboard. Since I don't have any integrations yet, I start by creating a new project to hold all my CRM integrations. Then I create a new flow and give it a name. In Claris Connect, flow represents a series of automated actions triggered with an event that comes from one of your apps. In my case, the event is clicking on a button in a custom FileMaker app, so I select the FileMaker server connection. To integrate Claris Connect with my app, I have to give it access to it via FileMaker Data API. So I enter my FileMaker service address and make sure I have Data API enabled in the admin console. Then I go to Manage Security and create a new account for Claris Connect. This way I'm actually enabling an external access to my app, so it's important to set it up properly, limiting the access only to the bare minimum really needed. For the purpose of this demo, I will give Claris Connect an edit access to all fields of my contacts table. In a real solution, I would also limit the access to just the exact fields I really want Claris Connect to interact with, or even create a dedicated intermediate table. Now I can fill the credentials in the Claris Connect itself and let it fetch the necessary information about my database. To finally make my database able to trigger the flow, Claris Connect's FileMaker Server Connector gives me step-by-step -step instructions for my script. So I follow the instructions and create a new script. I want to keep my script organized, so I create a separate folder just for Claris Connect. Then I create a new script and give it a name, subscribe contact. The next step is to add the set variable script step to prepare JSON structure for Claris Connect trigger. Any additional data can then be easily added to the JSON using the FileMaker's built-in JSON functions. I want to copy the contact's name to MailChimp so that I can use it to personalize my newsletters. I will also need the contact's email address, of course. Once I have the data ready, I can go on. 
The next step is to use insert from URL to actually invoke the Claris Connect via HTTP. But I don't have to learn all the possible curl options as I can just copy them from Claris Connect and paste them to my script. It's a good idea to set the target of the insert from URL script step to a variable so that I can easily check if it was successful. The final element to copy is the URL itself. Claris Connect has automatically generated a unique webhook for me, which triggers my flow. Now I can add a simple check on the result. Normally I would add some arrow handling here, but for now I will just display the result in a dialog. Finally, I have to add one more value to the JSON, the record ID, so that my flow can find the contact record in my database to update it with the subscription ID. Before continuing with the flow, Claris Connect wants me to test the trigger. How smart! It will not let me go on until it's sure my trigger works as expected. So I attach the script to my MailChimp button, switch to the browse mode and try it out. The dialog says OK and Claris Connect says connection complete. Now I can start adding some actions to my flow. I want this flow to subscribe contacts to my MailChimp list, so I select MailChimp as my next connector. To let Claris Connect access my MailChimp account, I have to authorize it as an external app. Once it is authorized, I can select the target list and the email address of my subscriber. As you can see, all the data from my trigger script are already there, ready for me to use. That's another benefit of the test run I had to perform. Without any difficult coding, I have all the data from the trigger just a few clicks away. Just like with the initial trigger, I can test this step to verify it works as expected. So I click the test action button and Claris Connect gives me the complete response it has received from the MailChimp API. All the data provided here can be used in the following actions. When I switch to MailChimp and refresh the audience, I can see the new subscriber there. So I switch back to Claris Connect and save my action. Once my flow has called MailChimp, it might be a good idea to verify the call was successful. For this purpose, Claris Connect lets me add a simple if-then switch and check if the status of the provided result is subscribed. I can even give my condition a meaningful name, so that when I look at the flow later, I can still easily understand what it is supposed to do. As you can remember, I want to report the success back to my database. So I add an add action using the FileMaker server connector. I choose the edit record action because I want to add some data to the already existing contact record. I have already used the already configured FileMaker account and now I can see the connector will need me to set up and access to some layout. So let me create a new layout just for this purpose. There are two reasons to use a dedicated layout just for Claris Connect. One is security, because I don't expose more than I have to. And the other one is performance, because FileMaker Data API doesn't fetch and return any fields which are not present on that layout. In my case, just one field is sufficient, the one I want to store the subscription ID into. I also have to give the Claris Connect account permission to access this new layout. When I switch back to Claris Connect, I can just go one step back to let it refresh the layout list. And voila, my layout is there. Now is the moment when I can utilize the record ID I earlier added 
the JSON in my trigger script. And the value for my field comes from the MailChimp action result. Now I can save the action and my flow is ready. I simply enable it and now when I switch back to my CRM and try the MailChimp button with another contact, it will give me OK and my nice MailChimp button becomes yellow. And my contact appears as a new subscriber in my MailChimp audience. All within less than 15 minutes.